Holy, who cranked the freaking heat up, man? What is up, y'all? It is a beautiful day out here in the state of Delaware. It's very toasty, but today we are going to uh, be doing some fishing, as you can see behind me. We got this beautiful, beautiful creek. Very, actually pretty clear water. Y'all see that right there? If you watch the recent videos, I am actually back in my home state of Delaware after traveling all around the freaking country in our camper. But we came to this creek and I was just so freaking surprised. Like if you guys haven't seen that video, it's a catch a cook. You gotta check that one out. But today we are back and uh, it is, is very, very hot today. Absolutely gorgeous. So uh, in this backpack, we've got some stuff, man. I've got some questions here for this creek. So it is uh, basically summer. Once it gets this hot, it's, it's freaking summer, dude. To my surprise, I, like literally right when I got back to Delaware, I was like, let's go fish a creek that I never really fish. This creek has something in it that I did not expect. This, this thing is freaking trout right now, and it was loaded with trout the other day. Now, the reason it's kind of cool is that these are stock trout, and usually like when they stock the trout, people catch them and then take them home, and then these creeks get kind of depleted pretty quickly. And especially like as it gets later, like this late into the season or into the year, it's just hot, and I, I just was not expecting there to be trout here. So today in the bag, we have a bunch of uh, lures. The other day we were using worms, and these fish love the worms. <laughs> There's some big freaking fish in here too. So we're gonna put some of these lures on, and we are gonna try to compare it to the worms. I have worms as well, but we're just gonna cast around and try to find some nice fish. And uh, yeah, it's just fishing a spot like this. There's just that like creek, like the white noise, the beautiful babbling brook. It's just so relaxing. And uh, yeah, man, I appreciate you guys for joining me on this adventure today. I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get rigged up. Let's see if we can catch some freaking fish, man. I'm excited, dude. All right, y'all ready to see what is in the bag of mysteries? So first of all, I think we're gonna be going with one of these dudes. I got these at Cabela's. I am a big, big fan of uh, marabou jigs. I caught my personal best trout on a marabou jig on a black one, but I think that, so, so look, these fish have been in this creek for a little bit while, and they, they've kind of, you know, adapted to their surroundings. That's why they probably were eating the worm really good. I think this green color, this is 132 ounce jig. I think this is gonna look very natural, and uh, hopefully some fish kind of in that deeper water, look it up, hoping to feed on something like this coming downstream. Let's try it out. This is science for state coming out. Now there are, I mean, there's so many different lures. When it comes to trout fishing, especially stock trout fishing, I will say um, this is my third time ever fishing this creek before. So that's pretty exciting. And the uh, last time we were here was the first trout I caught of this year. So that's pretty exciting as well. So this is what we got. 132 ounce jig. Let me get you some better lighting. Like, uh, look at that right there. Oh, where is it? Boom. It'll look better once we get it a little wet. Oh yeah. All right, y'all, there we go. That is hopefully going to be the promised lure today, but I got a bunch of stuff in my bag, and as I said, trout fishing, I mean, you could throw a bunch of stuff. You could throw worms like we were throwing the other day, trout magnets, uh, power bait, I'm sure they'd probably still be chomping that. Fake worms, little paddle tails, there's a bunch of stuff. We're gonna try this out first, man. Again, if you guys like these creek fishing videos, or if you wanna see more trout stuff like this, make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button, and also leave a comment and let me know. So this is gonna be a little bit different. We were kind of just drifting the worm down the other day. We're gonna be kind of let, letting this drift, but giving it some bop bops and some pops. Hopefully not getting snagged, because there is a bunch of rocks. That's kind of like where the fish would be as well. Again, it's a toasty one, man. It was not this hot the other day. So right away, this is similar to the other day where like, I came over here, I didn't even see any fish. They're all in this deeper, kind of more moving water. And it's, they're, they're just like masters of cloaking themselves so they don't get, you know, swooped by birds and probably fish or people like me. It's just amazing how they can like be invisible in water like this. Oh, I think I see one over there. Try cast that way a little bit. Huh. 
huh. Well, this is kind of interesting. I've got absolutely zero interest on this lore. Try a little bit over here in the shadow. Ooh. I said something nipped me. <laughs> that was kind of cool. I saw him eat it. This water is super clear. All right, so somebody's hiding out in the shade. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Feisty little bugger. All right, what do we got? Ooh. I remember you. I remember you. Oh, that's cool. Right in the top-ish of the mouth right there. Hey, I'll take that all freak a day, man. Beautiful red breast sunfish. Man, these are like my long lost homies. Thank you so much, buddy. Well, that's cool. Oh, I saw, ooh, I still see a swimming over there. A few more casts over here, and then I'll switch up the lure. Huh. I don't know. Might be a little too fast. I think these trout in here, I did see one and it was actually a pretty freaking big one that was just sitting out in the middle over there. I tried to attempt uh, him with this, but he did not. Oh, there's a bunch of followers right here. I don't freaking know, dude, but he, I, I don't know. I don't freaking know, dude, but they did not want this. So we'll have to do some switching up here in a second. All right, let's try one more bombing out there. It's funny, because this is one of the lures that I was like, dude, there's no way. Huh. So this is a pretty cool experiment, just to see how, like, picky these trout that are still in here are. I mean, you gotta think about it too. If these trout are still in here, I'm sure people still fish around. Like, these trout are probably a little bit smarter than, you know, the ones that they just recently stocked, who were just like, what the frick am I doing in this water? Let me eat this floating dough and then, you know. All right, well, let's, uh, huh. Hey, by the way, too, this is a Luz Mach Light with four pound fluorocarbon. I always forget to say it's stuff like that. All right, now this might either be really good or really dumb. We're gonna try it out here. So in this little creek fishing kit, it's actually a trout fishing kit I got at Walmart a couple videos ago. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. But it come, came with these like fake worm dudes. I've caught trout on these, but I don't know. Again, these trout might be a little, a little bit smarter, just because they've been in here, you know, surviving and thriving. So what we got on here, the tiny little split shot. It's about like a foot away from a size 10 hook, and then I just kind of wacky rig this little dude on there let's just cast it out and i mean if they were hitting the worm the other day i'm sure it's got some scent and like i mean you know it's a real worm but can this thing compete with that and it's floats too by the way i think i don't know let's see just let it drift on down i'm not even gonna i'm gonna do nothing Oh, I got something. A little, little sun, sunfish was chasing it. Yeah, no, I'm not going to lie. This uh, doesn't look super great. I'll let it float a couple times. When in doubt, cast it out. Oh, I just got bit. Is that a smaller fish or is that a freaking trout? Oh, well. Well, all right, so I threw a spinner and a jerk bait and stuff. We're just gonna, look, man, I'm just gonna test the waters. I have on a legit worm, and this is the same setup we were using the other day, just like probably a little less than a foot above that size 10 hook with the worm. We got the little split shot, dude. Hopefully I didn't like spook all the fish that are in here, but let's just let that drift down and just see. It might be a huge difference. Dude, are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding? Right away. <laughs> wow. 
that just goes to show how freaking smart these fish are. I mean, I don't know if you can really catch them on too much besides, I mean, maybe a tiny trout magnet would definitely work and like flies. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, what the frick? You know what I just noticed too? I, I forgot my net. What the heck, man? Literally all the last video I was like, yeah, I forgot my net. And... All right, come here, buddy. We're being quick today too with these worms. Just getting them right on the side of the mouth. If you don't feel that bite and you wait too long, get my hand wet. These fish will smoke that and choke it. All right, y'all. Beautiful first fish of the day. Rainbow trout. Oh yeah. Let's make sure she's good. Whew. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, 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 there you go. Whew. Wow, that is so pretty. Hey, other way, buddy. There we go. <laughs> Back into the freaking depths of the current. Yeah, no, these trout can be very fragile, I'd say. I mean, not just trout in general, especially stock trout, but um, yeah, you want to make sure, especially when you're releasing them, thank God. Like, that's what we, we just got to set the hook real quick, but. Wow. <laughs> no, I'd actually be interested to see too. Let me know down in the comment section below, what is your favorite type of fishing? Would it be like creek fishing like this? Is it pond fishing, lake fishing? And if it's saltwater fishing, you know, is it inshore, offshore, from the beach, from the jetty, from the pier? Creek fishing has got to be up there for me. I think saltwater and creek fish are bad. Whew. You never know what's down there, especially in a tiny creek like this. Last video we caught, I, I, I literally couldn't even believe we caught stuff like that we caught out of this. By the way too, I've been uh, crushing my barbs. So another tip, if you plan on like just catching and releasing trout, first of all, I would not recommend this method because there's a good chance that they'll gut hook it. Same goes for like power bait and stuff like that, but if you're planning on releasing trout, I would just recommend crushing some barbs. Sounds like a gym, bro. Crushing some barbs. Anybody else around here? What was that first cast with the worm, huh? I just got bit. That was not a, it's not a trout. There we go. Right in that current, literally right in it. Oh, this is a, let me get back over here. Oh wow, that's another pretty one. Right in the side of the mouth, I see it. Oh, that's like a tinier one, way tinier. It's just so, oh man, it's so cool watching them swim in the water like that. All right, come here, buddy. Professional trout fisher first state without his net is gonna Secure you very nicely. <sighs> Second one of the day. Again, just trout tips too, man. Make sure, look at that, right in the corner of the mouth. That is beautiful. <sighs> yeah, man, so if you do plan on releasing, just make sure you wet your hands. Oh, there she blows. Look at that. Freaking beautiful, oh, she's going to the, oh, no. Wow. Again, that was a smaller one, but Ah, it's just, it's so nice. Like, let's just take a, take a look around, okay. Look at this. This is, uh, this is Delaware. I wanna go down that way. Maybe, uh, let me know. You guys wanna see that? There's probably some more trout hiding down there and I've just never been that way before, so. I think we're gonna have to do that. I think that'd be really freaking cool. But if there's so many fish here, I just kinda, uh, I just wanna see what's around, man. Little spillways like this, or whatever you want to call it, are just always, uh, it's, just, it's just a good place, you know. It's a good day, it's a good place. This is nice. But yeah, as I was saying though, if, you, if you're gonna release, just be gentle and try to crush your barbs, do the best you can and you know, wet your hands and stuff. There's always like some police in the comments, so they, you didn't wet your hands. Man, I wet my freaking hands. I didn't net them, 
Which that's that's pretty dumb. You should have a net. You know how many freaking trout over the years I've lost by not having a net? Just fish in general. I'm sure we can make a giant compilation. Oh. I got bit right there. The world's best missing fish compilation of no net. <laughs> What is this? Hello? Whoa, 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 hello. That's so long. I think that's just a chub, right? Second spe- or third species of the day. Look at that. Why is he so long? That'd be some good bait for bass or something. Thank you, little buddy. Oop. Again, never know with these creeks. Uh, fish <laughs> look at this man creek fishing do not tell me creek fishing is not the most fun freaking thing ever another beautiful red breast hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. you know what i haven't even tried over here yet look at this you see that It's a high snag probability. Oh my gosh. 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 Oh, there's another one trying to follow it. Whoa, what's going up around this rock over here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hitting that a little bit. Oh my gosh, he's trying to go up the waterfall. Dude, he literally had a buddy following him. It might have been his mate or something. Holy crap! Oh, that was crazy. I just oh, he's got a stick with him too. All right, come here. I'll let you go right away. Wow. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. We're good. We're friends. Talk about a freaking fight. That was crazy. I wonder if that other one would even eat now. All right. Ooh, ooh. Gorgeous. Come on, go back upstream. Go find your lover. That was crazy. <laughs> what the heck? There we go. Boom. <laughs> so freaking cool, man. I mean, this thing is just, this place is loaded. Oh, another rainbow. Another beautiful rainbow. Let me get my hook super fast. Oh, there she blows. Woo -woo. Gorgeous. There you go, girl. Get on back to that hole. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Oh boy. This is so much fun. This is crazy. Oh, that's a nicer one too. Wow. Holy. Come here, buddy. Oh man. Right, look at this. Just let her go. It's right. Boom. Oh, she must be right under that. Hello? There she is. Thank you, buddy. Water's so clear. 
All right, let's cast a few more times here. How could I not, dude? Especially, we've been doing pretty good on the hook set. Like, right when they feel it, I just, boom, quick release. This one's just going to be more of a strictly kind of fishing-ish video, too. I, I know, I mean, I do a lot of fishing videos. It's, I mean, it's like my whole channel, but you know, sometimes we do more exploring, more fishing challenge type things. This is just some straight up OG Creek fishing. And again, in this month, I never would have thought that, you know, <laughs> we'd be doing this, catching all these trout like this. I just had a little bite right there. That was, that was a smaller, it was a tap. I really just want to see it. So we've caught all rainbows today. It's a pretty nice size, some pretty smaller ones as well, but I want to see if I can catch another brown. We caught a brown trout the other day that was big and it fought like crazy. We released it, so it should still be in here, but are there any more browns? gonna be my next target oh my gosh dude oh my gosh it's just automatic right now I wish I could go out there with the underwater camera and just see how much they're stacked up it's gonna quickly release you buddy right in the bottom of the mouth there oh whoa 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 and boom off to the races Very interesting. This is so much fun, dude. I, I, this is like paradise right now. But all rainbows. Imagine just randomly there's some golden trout in here that bites. Bro. Wow. That's all I could say. I. <laughs> I don't even know, I don't, I don't know what to say anymore. Just, wow. Freaking wow. There that one goes. Oh boy. Oh, come on, he's right there. Oh no, you freaking, oh. It's a big trout, oh he's spooked now. Thank you sunfish. Oh wow, pregnant sunfish. Apologize for that ma'am. You do need to eat, huh? Wow, look at this man. Fat sunfish. Holy stomach, oh my God, it's like a freaking ball. Whew. All right, sorry about that ma'am. You do deserve to eat. There's a big trout right there. I don't think he's gonna bite this though. Sheesh. Man, so this is gonna be like, more just like a strictly fishing type video. I don't even know how many freaking trout we caught, how many fish we caught today. This was an amazing day. I'm so happy right now. If you guys could, as uh, just go down there. If you aren't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. If you do enjoy the videos, and I'm just gotta say, man, we, we're gonna be doing some crazy stuff this summer, so. You're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. I'm gonna try to pump as many quality content videos out as I can, and there wasn't a bunch of B-roll or sick angles or edits in this video, but it was some good fishing, so that was fun, dude. Let me know down in the comments. We can go upstream, and we can also go downstream and do some wading, and uh, yeah, I, I really wanna start exploring this creek a lot more, so thank you guys so much for all the freaking support. It really does mean the world to me. All I gotta say, man, let's keep this going. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.